Better take it easy, Wendy. This will be your fourth. You sure are looking bluer than a whetstone. Oh, it's just a rain notice. Yeah, it certainly is beating down. Uh, you can always count on these contraptions to go bluey just as you need them. Hurry, can. But I know they're leaving today. Effie said Jeb's bringing their trunks over to the station and they're going on the 418. Good riddance to bad rubbish. Well, I don't like to cast the first stone, but I must say a body can stand just so much. Mary Ann, the idea of those cheap, big mouth know it alls coming here trying to run us, stirring up the young people and everything. Well, Hattie, they didn't really hurt anybody. Oh, didn't they? Why, if it hadn't been for Hester Appleby, what? Yes. If it hadn't been for her and people like you, everybody here would be a lot happier. Maybe you're glad to see us go, but you're not half as glad as we are. You're mean and skimpy-minded. And besides, my mother and father are five million times better than all of you put together. Your mother and father. That's funny, isn't it, Ma? Mary Ann. Those Valentines aren't your real folks at all. You're just adopted. My pa's town clerk, and he told Ma, didn't he, Ma, that your pa died a long time ago and left you the farm. And do you know what your real name is? Wendy O'Hara. Mary Ann, you shouldn't have. Let her alone, Bertha. I always said the child should know anyway. Hmm. I knew about it all the time. It's just too bad, Mary Ann, that your mother didn't bring you up to be a nicer girl. You didn't know all the time, did you? All I've ever done was for me. <laughs> oh, there they are now. Here's my handkerchief. Thank you. Do I look all right? You look fine. Goodbye, Judy. Goodbye, Wendy. Take your last look, girls. I still say it's a sweet little town. Dad. What? Did you ever hear of a man named O'Hara? O'Hara? What? Did you ever hear of a man named O'Hara, kid? Who? Hmm? O'Hara, Mom. Oh, O'Hara. Well, who said? I mean, why? Oh, oh nothing. Sure is raining. What were you saying about that man, Mr. O'Hara? Well, I saw Marianne in the drugstore, and and she said he was my father. I was afraid of this. Well, you see, honey, we were going to tell you all the time, only Joe thought that... Me? I wanted to tell you all the time, honey. Your mother here, well, kid, she thought it would be better if we... Now, Joe, don't say that. I mean, we didn't want to spoil anything. That's right, honey. We just didn't want to spoil anything. You see, we were playing in Baltimore. We were in Springfield when we... Let me tell her, Joe. All right. You see, Wendy, your mother and father were our best friends. Real troopers and fine people. God doesn't make them any better than Barney and Florence O'Hara. When your mother died, it broke your father's heart. When your father went to join her, he left you with us. We couldn't have loved you anymore if you'd been our own baby. We realized the time would come when we would have to tell you the truth. At first, you were too young to understand, and later, we were afraid of the way you might take it. We didn't want to hurt you. So you see, you had to find it out like this. Well, it, it was something of a shock. Naturally, you can't expect it. No, no, honey, we understand. Mom? I love you both more than ever. 